How do you work on your movement? I will play some movement maps. The movement channels right here from Bedway is a good one to get a feeling for it. So to take it, to take it as it is. People ask me, how do you get better movement? How do you practice your movement? How do you, how do you learn to move around in the game of Counter Strike? And it is a little bit like learning to walk, learning to run, learning to do whatever the hell you do in your life, whether that being football, basketball, American football, whatever, right? You learn by doing. It is so so simple. You're not gonna get good movement without practicing your movement. You're not gonna get good movement without moving around in the game a lot. And that's just the way it is. Some players, Counter Strike players, just as in football players, American football players, etc., they have a better there's a potential they have a, a more clear defined understanding for how to move around they get easier to it some players have to work hard to get a good movement you probably wouldn't believe it but i think personally when i was playing pro five years ago four years ago I had terrible movement, terrible, terrible, terrible movement, movement that could get much, much better. And I only started practicing my movement when I started streaming. And today I have a pretty goddamn awesome movement. So without doing it, without learning, without putting in hours, putting in practice to movement, you'll never be good at movement, right? That's the first thing you have to come to. People are like, yeah, isn't there like an easy way to get good movement? No, there's not. There's only the hard way. That's by doing it and by practicing. It's the same players asking like, hmm, how, how do I become Cristiano Ronaldo mom? Well. Start by practicing sun, maybe, you know, it's, it's a tough one. There's no easy route. That's just the way it is. This map is called Bitboy Movement Channels, and that's a map that I use a lot for movement, right? I can try to take you through the course and try to show and talk a little bit about what I do when I do these movement maps in order to get a feeling for it. Because it is so nice to have good movement. First and foremost, you got to be able to bunny hop, right? You got to be able to jump like I'm doing right here. Bunny hopping where you constantly jump after the next jump, constantly jump after the next jump. To do that, you either need to bind your scroll button to scroll down, or scroll up. I'm jumping on scroll down. Some players do it on scroll up. You can do space, but space is not consistent, right? So I cannot double jump. Sometimes it'll miss the jump, as you can see right here. It's a little bit delayed. Space is simply not fast enough. So first and foremost, you got to bind scroll down on your mouse or scroll up for that matter. When you got that going, then, then you can use the bunny hop mechanics, right? So you're moving around like this. The next thing is how you use your keyboard. Because when I'm jumping around like this, I'm using my A, I'm using my D, I'm using my W if I need to. Right now, I'm only using A and I'm only using D. So I'm counter strafing. All right, you can see how much speed I'm picking up. Speed I'm picking up, sorry. I'm only pressing A and D. Wish there was a way I could show it. Maybe you can see it down right here. Only pressing A and D. Now, w to get some speed. And at this point, just pressing A and D. Then I'm controlling it with my mouse back and forth. Just to get a grasp of it, just to get an idea of how that works, try to, to go in on this map and just jump. Just jump on the spot. Get a feeling for how it is to jump back and forth without using your W. Without using W. Alright? Next time, you want to you wanna do the movement, right? You, you can do it on the ground. There's no real challenge right here. It's just jumping on the ground. You put it into using this map, you jump up, and then it, that's when it starts to get fun. You can bunny up through all this. You can go around the corners. You can land. You can jump. This is a, a long jump where you have to jump long. That's when movement becomes fluent. That's when it looks good, like you're doing right here. It's a great feeling. There's a flow to your movement, right? Because you have an idea of how to use it, what buttons to catch, and all of a sudden, you go through the map, just like that. Next thing, and, and uh, I think people ask me a lot about, is like, I don't understand how you get so fluent in it. This took me many months, many, 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 many months to be fluent in it, right? I fail occasionally. You'll see me failing just a second right here, probably. I'm going for the goal, trying to go through this course as fast as I can. There you go. I missed a jump. I didn't hit it. Fell off the cliff. I have to start all over. You will miss jumps once in a while, so you don't have to be perfect. It's tough to be perfect. It's tough to have perfect movement. And those guys who have perfect movement are guys who have spent an incredible amount of hours practicing or are cheating in some way <laughs> with scripts, etc. And they'll never admit it. Like, no, I'm just good. No, you're not. You're cheating. Fool. Anyway, so it takes time. So the more you go through this map, the more familiar you get with all these jumps, all these different mechanics of jumping, the better you'll be at it. All right, this one is a high jump. I have to jump up in there to make this jump. I'll fail it if I don't hold in control. If I just jump like this, I can't hit it. See, I'm failing. If I go here, you have to jump up in there. If I just jump like this, I can't hit it. So you have to crouch while jumping. Crouching makes your model smaller. So instead of being this big and jumping into the ledge, you're making your model this big and then you can jump on top. So right now I'm holding control when I jump and I'm up. Jumping, control, jumping, control, jumping, control, jumping, control. Then I missed it, right? You do miss it sometimes. When you get into a rhythm like this, you can just do it fast and you won't miss a thing. Mm -hmm. There we go. Easy peasy, just like that. The thing about this map is that it, it it channels you in three different levels as well. Three different aspects. High, right here, we had to go through some high jumps. In this one, you have to go through some box jumps as well. Start off very simple. Jump, 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 jump. Then you want to go up here again. You cannot jump up on this box. 
You cannot jump up here without using control. So you have to use control again. Control, jump up, control, jump up. There you go. Now you're up here, you gotta jump around. So jumping around a building. This way you learn to use your mouse very well. Because if I just jump out like this, I'm not doing it right. I'm just gonna stand right here and look like a fool. So you gotta understand how you to use your mouse and jump as close as you can to the box so you can get over here, just like that. Right here, it's about being precise in the jumps. Jumping like this, you have to be precise. You have to land on these ones. If you don't land, you fall down like this. Well, all over again. So you have to be precise. And then, as said, if you put some rhythm into it, if you've done it before, if you get a sense for it, you can make it look like this. And there we go, all the way up here. Again, precision jumps. You have to hit the precise moment where you can jump right here. You can do it like this one at a time. One at a time. But you can also put some flow to it. Make it look good. Show off that you have good movement. Just hit it every single time like that. Jump around the building again. In here. Control. Here we go. Next. Next stage of the map. Now this one is a little bit of a tricky one. You go up right here. And again, you have to use control. You cannot get up here without using control. You cannot make this jump and land on top of this box without using control. So see what happens. I go up here. But as I spoke about, we got to make the model smaller. All right. So right now you can see I'm up here. But if I hold crouching, crouch. I can go up even further, you see? This is the size I can get with not crouching. Now I crouch, go up a little further. And then you can make the jump. Holding in crouch, jumping over here. A lot of people struggle with that one. Again, precision jumps, very small precision jumps. Go up here, go up here, go up here. Make it look good. Go up here. This one is, again, precision jumps. And that's the cool thing about this map. If you know your shit, right? There's, there's stuff you can do to go through shorter if you want to. Like this, for example. Ah, now I probably can't do it. I'm probably gonna fail a couple of times. Yeah, see? If you hit the perfect jump right here, hit the perfect speed, you can get up here in just one jump. A little bit away from it right now, not gonna lie. Yeah? Or you can do it like this. Just do it in one. I can't even do that now. See, that's the thing about the rhythm, right? You have a rhythm to it. If you fail a couple of times, you get out of that rhythm. Then you have to find it again. Then you have to find it again. Okay, that should have been it. <laughs> It's all about practicing. I fail. Everyone fails once in a while. It's 80, 80, 80. When I do these jumps, 80, 80, 80, 80. I don't use anything else in LB. I use W to get speed from the get-go. W and then just 80, 80, 80, and in. That's simple. That's simple. That's it. Fourth one is uh, is one of the fun ones. That one puts everything we just learned ourselves to the test. Just completing this map in itself is good. In itself is very good. 80 again, only using W to get over here. Up on the ledge, up here, up here, up here, in here. You gotta know the map. Up here, up here, in here. Crouching in here to get in there. Up, 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 up. Gotta put a flow to it. Gotta put a flow to it. In between these ones, keep jumping, keep jumping. Keep jumping, you steer it with your mouse, steer it with your mouse. Up, 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 up. See how you're flying through the map right now. Precision jumps, close to the wall again. Close to the wall again. You miss, you're done. <laughs> that simple. Hit the bunny hops, hit the bunny hops, and you just completed this in 42 seconds unless you fail. All right, that's how you do it. That's how you put flow to it. That's how you make it look good. And all this is the stuff you learn the first three levels. All this you're trying in the first three levels. So when you got to level four, you know you can complete it. It's gonna be tough, but you can complete it. Now this time, of course, is terrible. I think my fastest time is two minutes and 10 seconds, but that's how you do it. Practice makes perfect. There's some technical aspects to it as when you use W, when you use D, when you use A, etc. But you have to do scroll jumping first and foremost, as I explained to you guys, and you have to put in an effort. The more you do, the more practice you do, the more you feel the map, the more you use this map, the better you'll be. In the beginning, just doing level one is gonna be super, super hard. You may be frustrated, you may spend half an hour doing level one, but as soon as you can do level two, you can jump onto level two and try that. As soon as you can do level one, sorry, you can jump onto level two, try to better yourself that. And everything you learn, level one, level two, level three you can then put to use to level four if you can get to level four you can complete it but it takes time and it's tough it's tough so that's my little movement guide so to speak that's a great way of doing it as said this map is called betway movement channels 2.0 i believe the more time you spend on this map the more time you spend practicing and bettering your movement the better you'll be to make the window jump on mirage the more consistent you'll be jumping around corners and dust too sometimes in the game it saves you rounds it saves you kills and it saves you a lot of good situations or it makes sure that you get alive get out of there alive it could be on on mirage for an example all right in the window you make the window jump you get a kill because you made that jump 
great. On Dust 2, it could be that you have good movement, so you can rotate as fast as you can from short in towards the A bomb side, because you can jump around and, and cut a couple of corners with your movement. The more movement you use, the better. Nuke for an example. On a Silo, you can go from T-spawn as fast as you can up towards top Silo by then good movement. It's really, really cool. It's a good idea to practice your movement, and this was my guide in order to do so. Hope it was useful.